hola and shalom and if you're watching this on a saturday shabbat shalom i'm rebellia and we are back with some more nancy drew stay tuned for danger i almost said secrets can kill so um last episode we had just found this key here um i did get to looking around a little bit in the studio and i found a screwdriver and um, i found out you can use this to bring that high voltage uh, ladder down and you can go up and look at the light that was sabotaged and there's a scrap of cloth on it so um, I'll show you that guys that here in a little bit okay so we need to figure out what this key goes to but while we're right here let me go ahead and I will show you guys the uh, that sucks um, whoa. okay I did not see that before all right, um, now on this, the wheel won't turn at first. You have to actually use the oil can on it, and then the ladder will come down. You go up, and you can see the, uh, the light. So I'm betting the key goes here, then. Yep. Okay, so what is this? seeing anything that would give me the pattern. So maybe it's just supposed to figure it out. Hmm. Curious now. So I don't see any like diagrams or anything. Showing how to mess with this. At least not properly. Wait a minute. I don't see any change in the gears. I okay, why you want me put them all on the side. As I said, there's got to be something I'm missing here. The only thing I can think is to um, go back to the apartment and call somebody for help. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Let's go ahead and call Ned. Maybe he can help us. Alright, so we want... We've got to dial the one. Five, four, three, five, seven. Let's see if he can help us at all. Hello? Guess what? Maddie helped me land a job as an extra through her agent, Dwayne. I guess he places a lot of actors. My girlfriend, the soap opera star. Now you'll never come back home. Hmm. I bet if you contact some of Dwayne's other employees, they might have some information related to the case. So, what else can I help you out with? Let's open now. Locked area of the prop room. I wonder what type of master key is hiding there. What are masters hiding prop what the prop master is hiding there? This is getting stranger by the minute. Now I found out that the prop master has a typewriter, and guess what? The wires on her machine are dropped. Uh, this case is getting stranger by the minute. Now I found out that the prop master has a typewriter, and you know what? The wires on her machine are dropped. That is strange. But remember, this is just circumstantial evidence. It might not be the prop master who's typing these letters. So, what else can I help you out with? There's a locked area of the prop room. I wonder what the prop master is hiding there. If it's locked, it must be important. 
She may want you to answer some kind of puzzle to get in. But maybe there's another way to get past the gate. You'll find a way. So, what else can I help you out with? I think that's it for now. I miss you. I miss you too. Goodbye. Okay. Let's try George real quick, see if she says anything. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Um, I'm not sure what I should do next. I'm officially an extra on the set. There's not much to do. I'm officially an extra on the set, but there's not much to do. Not much to do? I bet it'd take you weeks to discover all the nooks and crannies in that studio. Who knows? Maybe you'll stumble upon some hidden passageways. TV studios are always full of them. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Okay, well, let's try that again. So maybe we can find out what she would say if we say we don't know what to do next. Fane residence. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? I'm not sure what I should do next. Find Rick Arlen. He's bound to have some important information on the case. I'm sure his dressing room is somewhere in the studio. Okay, so they weren't much help, but I did do a little bit of searching because I was just completely confused. Um, we've gone through everything I could come up with. Well, what I didn't notice is this. There's a package here sitting on this chair, and this is about the only angle you can see it at. See? So, okay, we're supposed to notice that there is a package here for Nancy Drew. This says, Nancy, I hope you are enjoying your trip to New York. I thought you might find this tape of interest to your case. It's a TV interview with Rick Arlen on a soap opera news show. You know, for a young lad, he's quite fetching. Take care and be careful, Nancy. With love, Hannah. Now, Hannah was the housemaid. So, let's, uh, that yeah, so now we've got our tape that we were needing. All right, we need to put the tape in here, I think. Oh no, we gotta turn it on first. Okay, and then we go and take this and put it I in need here. Something to make this work. Yummy. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh, <laughs> no. Not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. <laughs> oh, Rick. <laughs> okay. So. It's interesting. Don't really see how that helped me much. Because he's basically denying that he's leaving. But, hmm. okay, well, let's go see if we can talk to Maddie then, and uh, well, can I see if name? she's anything to say about this interview. Hmm. So, can I help you? Here. Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. I really don't like how Thank much it delays when she's saying, hello, here's my pass. Like place for quite a while. Okay. Yeah. Let's go down here. Let's chat here. It's open. Okay. Should Have you found anything out yet? No, what? not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. 
Okay. Hello? Well, that seems odd. What? Okay. Um, play me? Well, before I click on that, let's see if there's anything else we missed in here. I just want to be sure. Okay. I was thinking we missed something in here. Okay, that music is like totally intense. I was thinking you're supposed to be able to get into that drawer. Ah, there we go. There's the 3D glasses that were missing from the prop room. The Hamptons, me, and my gal. Hmm. Okay. Looks like that's the only thing you can look at in here. Okay. Alright, so, play me. What does this say? Hello, Rick. Don't try to the room. Oh shoot. Not that. Um Not that. Not that either. Where is it? No. Well, obviously that did not work. Okay, second chance. Hello? Okay. Let's make sure we get these 3D glasses real quick. Okay, let's see what this says. Hello, Rick. Don't try to lock the room. The door's right. Oh shoot. Da, 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 da. How am I supposed to know what to do here? this again. Hello? Okay. So we kind of know what to do. Gotta do it in a certain sequence. Okay. Hello? Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to know what the sequence is, but. Okay. Let's do that and then do that so that they are at the right spot. Don't try to let them run. 
Okay, so we want the yellow. And then red. Oh, okay, so it's yellow, red, orange, blue. Okay. Hello? scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Miss Drew. This is Bill Pappas, the producer for Light of Our Love. Uh -oh. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Mm. There's nothing wrong. Yes, I was, and you had a statement from me. Um. Yes, I was. They needed a statement from me. What type of information? Sorry, I've been to keep that confidential. You need to ask the police about that. Information about the bomb and what I found in the dressing room. Can I ask who next is to Mr. Arlen's dressing room? Uh, yes, let's Information do that. about the bomb and what I found in the dressing room. Can I ask who has access to Mr. Arlen's dressing room? Only Rick and the security personnel. We've already checked into this. Rick is very touchy about his room and won't even let the janitors clean it unless he's there. That's odd. Has he always been this way? How much care do people do you employ? Is it just Ralph? How many security people do you employ? Is it just Ralph? That's confidential. But rest assured that we hire the best security. And Mr. Gardino comes highly recommended. He's my wife's cousin. Right. Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosive or electronics? Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? You have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps. And the many people who have access to the studio at night. Who takes care of the teleprompter? Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Well, of course they're going to. Uh, who else has access to the staff offices? Um, how about the security tapes? Do you have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps? We're looking into that. Listen, we run a studio down here, not a prison. Sometimes staffers borrow the security videos when they run out. We've addressed this problem before, and I can guarantee it won't happen again. Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold, I'll call him. What else do you need, Nancy? Hello? Okay, uh, let's see. Right. Are there many people who have access to the studio at night? Only our key talent and some of the floor managers have access. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design, to name a few. Okay. Studio at night, is it possible for me to have code for the talent entrance. Is it possible for me to have the code for the talent entrance? Absolutely not. That code is to be used only for those who need it. Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold, I'll call him. <laughs> what see. else do you need, Nancy? Hello? Uh, okay, it's got a teleprompter. Let's see if you have any audio. 
Um, Jeepers. Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. Okay. Electronics. Who takes care of the teleprompter? Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. But a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Okay. It's Ms. Strath on the lead scriptwriter. Anyone has access to the teleprompter. So then anyone has access to the teleprompter? We've already looked into that incident with the teleprompter. Anyone from the stage hands to myself could have rigged it. Listen, I need to get back to work. Do you need anything else? Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics. But I couldn't picture any of them making it long. Okay. Any temporary employees working at the studios? Or anyone on the technical staff that would hold a grudge against Rick? Is okay. there anyone on the technical staff that would hold a grudge against Rick? Look, I'm not the studio psychologist. Rick's not the easiest guy to work with, neither am I. But then, I don't have people leaving me threatening letters in my office. Yeah. Who else has access to the staff offices? The usual people. Janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Now, is there anything else you need to ask of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Okay, well, last question. Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Of course we do. Yeah. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. And we also have some mixers in the control room. Yeah. Do you think I can see them sometime? We're very busy with production right now, and we're no longer conducting tours. If you... Oh, hold on. No! Get someone else for that. We need to have someone on standby if he decides to leave. Sorry about that, Nancy. Any other questions? Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pavis. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. Okay, then. That was a lot of talking for very little information. Okay, package is gone. Uh, let's go in here and see if Maddie's in here. Nope, okay. Just wanted to be sure. Okay. Let's go up here. Maxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. <laughs> Thank you. You may proceed. Okay. Let's see if we can't talk to Maddie, and if we can't talk to her, then we'll go try to talk to Lillian again. It's open! Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but I can tell he's upset about it. Well, hmm. I'll see you later, Maddie. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck! Okay, so is Rick here then? Entre vous. What do you know? My hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. <laughs> right. And tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Yeah, right. Well, you can tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Yes, I have. They're named Agent Harris, Officer Josewitz, and Detective Bonnet. It appears I've been quite a celebrity with the local authorities. Hey, I hear Detective Beach is looking for a new star. Do you think I should do some research with my new friends to land the part? <sighs> What's the story with the prop master? Ask your advice. Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Can I that. ask your advice? Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Dwayne's a loser, babe. Don't tell me he's representing you. Uh, 
didn't he represent you? Didn't he represent you? Yes, he did. A very long time ago. I was young and naive, just like you, love. I made a mistake. Something you can't afford to do at this point in your career. What's the story with the prop master? What is the story with the prop master? Old Millie Strathorn! Heir to the worldwide broadcasting fortune. She's great. Except for the fact that she's never liked me. She thinks I'm too big for my britches. And that I wouldn't know a good thing if it came up to me and stuck its finger in my nose. <laughs> well, listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Stay beautiful. Excuse me while I go almond up my lunch. Hmm. Okay, so let's go talk to Lillian. Well, well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. You do that. Okay. So let's try talking to... It's open! Why, hello! I hear you've become quite the celebrity, saving Rory Dunner from those diabolical traps set by that cold-blooded scoundrel, Yuri. Thank goodness you had my wire cutters, else you would have been blown all the way to Bakersfield. Jimmy, on. Who is Yuri? Well, Yuri is the joke that's going around the studio about uh, Rory Danner's twin brother, Yuri. I think that was like, really... So. Don't you mean Rick Arlen? And who is Yuri? No, I mean Rory Danner, young lady. Yuri is Rory's evil twin. He's always trying to bump off Rory. With his brother out of the way, Yuri thinks he'll have a clear shot at Serena. I've been trying to help him ever since Rory showed up in Jackson's Wharf. That Rory Danner needs to be taught a lesson. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Don't take any wooden nickels, young lady. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hmm. So... Now we need to figure out what else needs to happen. It's locked. Okay, I haven't come across the code to that yet. Hmm. What else would there be? The only other thing I can come up with would be to go and try to talk to Dwayne Powers. Um, which we've talked to him once before. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! All right, so let's try calling him again. Let's see what Dwayne has to say. Powers Agency, how may I help you? Hi, Mr. Powers, it's Nancy Drew. Ah, Ms. Drew. Maddie told me all about the bomb you defused. What a stroke of luck you were passing by. With Rick's dressing room right next to Maddie's, she could have gotten killed. I think Rick was in more danger than Maddie. I think he was nothing. I think Rick was in more danger than Maddie. It's clear to me that he's setting this whole thing up to generate publicity for his grand entrance into the film world. My only fear is that some poor bystander like Maddie will get hurt. You jealous of Rick? That's a pretty harsh statement. Um. That's a pretty harsh statement. Show business is a very harsh world, Ms. Drew. Look at me. I've studied every aspect of acting, the classics, dialects, stage combat, everything. I was underrated and underappreciated, but brilliant. 
and yet a phony like Rick Arlen is a success, and here I am, a talent agent. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I still harbor regrets about not pursuing my acting career further. My only point is that Rick has every reason to fake these so-called threats against himself. He has yet to suffer any harm from them, but the publicity and attention has served him well. Hmm. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. Goodbye, and good luck. That's actually smart. Uh -huh. Personnel. Due to the recent events concerning safety on the set, we will begin implementing additional security measures. Even after I close the set to visitors, I have found friends and family of various staff members wandering around the backstage. Surprisingly, they all knew the talent co entrance code, but I do not remember ever signing them on with the code. Site entry code has now been changed to 3689. Keep this number confidential. If I find that anyone has given out this code to non-authorized personnel, I'll dock your pay. Okay. Three, nine, three, six, eight, nine. All right. Oh, well, I'd say let's turn it nighttime and we'll go check things out during the night. Okay. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. All right. Let's go here. And it's three, six, eight, nine. Ooh, that got us in. I need something to make this work. Seriously. I need something to make this work. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I need something to make this work. Maybe the house keys. I need something to make this work. Okay, so we don't have a master key. Okay. Hmm. I don't think there'd be anything new here, but you never know. So. I'm not finding anything. Okay. Oh, I thought the chain was gone for a second. I thinking, oh, what a stroke of luck. something to make this work. Okay. Let's see what else I can find here. Well, the only other thing that I can come up with would be to try this. Nothing appears to be different. Hmm. I'm not sure how to do that thing. Alright, well, guys, I think after the excitement of the bomb and everything, we're going to call this an episode. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and would like to see more content by myself. And um, if you have any tips or tricks or ideas of other things you'd like to see me play, then be sure to drop those down in the comments hey, as well. And um, I highly recommend you check this game out for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can download and or buy and download the game for yourself. Um, so, yeah, uh, until next time, guys, have fun, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!